I've been asking people on Twitter about David Coldwell's shows. Um, Dave does um, puts on shows again and again. He's not one of those guys that's just had a couple of good shows that, quotes should be on TV. He's had dozens of good shows that should be on TV. And Leanne Harry has said, his shows, David Caldwell's, are amazing and get the crowd buzzing. He matches up great fighters. Coldwell TV deserves, Coldwell Boxing rather deserves a TV deal. I couldn't agree more. As they say in this way, now, during the last 25 years, hundreds of ex-fighters have decided to stay in the business by becoming trainers, managers and promoters. It's a hard life, trust me. And they almost always vanish without trace after making some fairly big and bold plans. Now, my next guest has stuck with a difficult business and his shows are often praised, as we just heard there from Leanne Harry, as the best shows to take place without TV. It takes luck, a lot of it, money, a fair bit of it and determination Tons of it. It's a delight to welcome back to the show, Mr. Boxing in many ways, David Coldwell. Dave, how are you? How you doing, mate? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, Dave, listen, they love your shows, mate. People love your shows. Yeah, I'm, I'm you know, I'm... What is it? <laughs> I don't know. Well, we put on, we put on proper fights. We, you know, we, we put on real fights for his prospects. My my sort of method is that um, I don't build records, I build fighters. And, mm. and I think you need proper tests and you need good competitive fights in order for kids to, to be able to progress on. Yeah, to, to move on. So Dave, what, um, I know that this is a sort of semi-season and it, we've, we're coming to the yeah. end of the clothes season now as it used to be called many, many moons ago. What's you got coming up and who's in your fights? Take me through your list. Oh, we're really, really busy. We've got um, on September 28th is his first show of the season. Yeah. We've got the Warriors Return which is Curtis Woodhouse who's always in a, a great fight. Um, Former England under-21 football captain. <laughs> Yeah, Premiership football. Everyone yeah. thought it were nuts when he, you know, when he packed up and, and got into boxing. But I think I think Curtis has proved now that you know he has got he has got a fighter's art. He's, he's yeah, yeah. good enough to compete with the best domestic life. So you know he's proved himself there. So we've got Curtis against Dave Ryan, which is a good fight because Dave Ryan, you know, he, he tested Adelanto last time out. Yeah. Um, Curtis obviously lost in his eliminator, and I figured the, the two eliminator losers. Put him in against him. Makes season. sense, makes sense, son. Makes sense, yeah. So yeah. so that's the top of the bill. But on the undercard, we've got Nav Mansuri who was in that brilliant fight against uh, Nathan Graham's Spencer Fearing kid. Yeah. You know, that that was an umdinger. That was an absolutely fantastic fight. And I've, I've got a lot of high hopes for Nav. So um, yeah. he's on uh, against Joe Rea, which shall be a good fight as well. That's yeah. been a six rounder. And what, um, about, what about other shows? Um, well, on, on October the 12th, we've got a big one in Manchester at okay. the Bowlers. Um, Bowlers, I love that place. Got a, well, it's my first show there. Yeah. Um, and what we're doing is we've got David Barnes against Ronnie Efron in a British title eliminator. Oh, that's a great, so, that's a great fight. Barnes, the former the British track, champion, tricky guy that keeps falling in and out of love with the sport. Ronnie yeah. Efron, unbeaten former ABA champion. It's a tough one. It is. It's a very tough one. I mean, again, Barnes now he's at a stage where he needs real fights. You know, we got him Vivian Harris last time out, and unfortunately, Clash of Red. You know, yep. fight ends up in a, Former world in a, champion, yep. in a technical decision, uh, technical draw, sorry. Yep. So there's no point in coming back with another soft fight. He's got to go in there, and we've got to see whether Barnes has got it in him, whether yeah. he can perform, whether he can be a champion again. How old uh, is he, Dave? He's not, is he old? He's no, not... He's, he's not old. I think he's 30 now. Okay. He's, not, he's, he's, not, he's yeah, not old. Of course, still um, baby. He's, listen, if you make Barnes a fight, he can fight. And, yeah. I, and Ronnie Efron, he's going to make him fight. So we're going to see a cracking, cracking fight. Um, I really rate Efren, you know, and everybody you speak yeah. to up, up in the Does. northwest, they all rate Efren. So it's going to be a it's going to be a barnstormer. But you know, it's not just that fight. We've got Matthew Atten coming back. He's yeah, Matthew Atten coming back. That's that's an interesting one because he's just bounced from big fight to big fight, and suddenly you got yeah. him on your undercard. Yeah, because you know he, he's got himself an IBO title fight out in South Africa. Yeah. Um, and when we put the show in Manchester, I, I just I give him a tweet and I said, listen, I said. You know, are you looking to get a warm up before you go out there? And he was like, "Yeah." So I told him what day it was, told him where it was, and obviously he's fighting a tall southpaw. So I've got him, um, Michael Lomax, which will be a yeah, good kid from him, you know? East, East London boy. Yeah, so that'll be a good fight. Um, we've also got Nasser Alabi against uh, unbeaten kid Nicole from Manchester on on the undercard. Yeah, and then Jose Burton, who's a great prospect. Liam Conroy, who's a great prospect. So it's a, it's a stacked card. And, and it's just, is Jose Burton out with um, Joe Gallagher at the moment in uh, Freddie Roach's no, gym in Los Angeles? Because I know Joe's out of about nine fighters. And yeah, uh, did Jose not go? He's not out there. Okay, no, he's so. not out there for this one. 
Um, no, so he's, he's still over here preparing over here. But, um, you know, he's a great talent, really good talent. Yeah, yeah, he's good fun. Um, Dave, and what about, what about the all-important question, the one that people are asking on Twitter and the one that I've got to ask you? Um, how... How can you? Are you going to? I know the sky have been fantastic. Adam, Adam's been sending yeah. the cameras down to film your show, so you've been getting little yeah. highlights. But what about a proper deal? At least so you get a few quid to offlay your outset. Is there any chance of that coming? Is there anything, anything, anything possible? Come on, give us a clue. Listen, my, this is really hard to do without. I know without it is, son. Um, but you know, there's myself and my business partner Spencer Fern. We've got a plan. We know what we need to do. We know what we've got to do. Um, you need to make a noise, you need the fans to be on your side, and you need to entertain. Sooner or later, you know, Sky, I think, you know, they're obviously it's great for Eddie and, and he's putting on the big shows. But the, for me, you can't just have Premiership football. You show League One, you, you show Championship, you show, you know, you you show different levels. Of course you do. And for me, for boxing, it's the same, you know. Yeah, you've got to show that. You've got to show. Listen, you're so right about that. And the, and the fact that, you know, what they did, Sky, with, you know, getting rid of David Price and yeah. getting rid of Ricky's fight. I mean, you know, listen, that, that's a long point, and, and people say, well, you're biased, but. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, just finally, Dave. Uh, just, 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 just finally. If there's one fight in Britain you'd like to see in the next twelve months or nine months of the season, what fight would it be? Two British oh, fighters. Wow. I know. So I'm putting you on the spot. You got to think yeah, quick. Do you know what it is, Steve? There's so many. I know. Like one of them. I'm the same. One of them Go has on. got to be. Um, uh, one of them's got to be Martin Murray and Darren Barker. Come on, Martin son. Martin Murray against 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 Macklin. Go on, son. Macklin against Macklin. Against Macklin. I, want, I want this. I want this oh. middleweight. I want this middleweight Tony sorted out. I want to see who's, who's the number one because oh, we're listen, middleweight division. David, but, go on, son. Uh, do you know if you'd asked me that, if you'd asked me that a few weeks ago before My- it got made? I'd have said to you, Kevin Mitchell and Ricky Burns as well. Oh, I can't what a wait for that fight. I tell you what, I, I have a feeling, Dave, stand by me. I think we're going to have a bumper time. David Coldwell, it is a delight and a pleasure to no, talk to you. On, no problem. Colin Meesum on, on Twitter has said, I've been to a lot of David shows over the years and they have been some of the best non-TV shows out there. Yes, they have. Yes, they have. That- 